All right, just wanted to make this quick video talking about just the dangers of Calvinism and why I believe that Calvinism is just the devil's attempt to try to counteract the spreading of the gospel in the world, essentially. So because what Calvinists believe is that, you may have Calvinists that are, are inconsistent on this, but Calvinism, they essentially, any true Calvinist will not go out soul winning. Any, any true Calvinist will not go out and preach the gospel because, you know, they believe it's not up to them, they believe it's not uh, the free will of the believer to choose to get saved. They believe that, that God will just choose who gets saved and who, who, who's lost. Uh, it's a false doctrine. Uh, there's so many examples where, for example, in uh, Joshua chapter 24, I believe it is, verse 15 to 16, talks about choose you this day who you will serve. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19 and 20, God says, I set you before you life and death, choose life. Paraphrasing, of course, but we see examples of alternative choice all throughout the scriptures. But the Calvinists uh, will deny that and will say that, oh God, we'll just choose the elect and predestine those and whatever. And you may have Calvinists that are that will deny this. But uh, I've, you know, I've corresponded with Calvinists. I've heard Calvinists speak, and you know, they will use verses like Ephesians chapter one verse eleven, with the talk about being predestined. But they forget to read the context, which is about the rapture, uh, which is a whole other issue. But uh, if you believe that it's not up to if we believe that God will just predestine those for salvation, what's the point of going out soul winning? There's no point of that. It destroys the whole purpose. So basically, it just gets back to my point that Calvinism is an attack on the gospel, and it is just the devil's attempt to counteract the spreading of the gospel. Because, you know, uh, another thing about Calvinism too I want to point out is that it destroys any kind of personal accountability for your actions. It destroys any sense of, of you know, uh, I did this, I'm responsible for it, because if you have no free will, you can blame all your problems on God, which is obviously a satanic false doctrine, because it means that sinful acts are blamed on God too. So that's, that's why I say that Calvinism is an attack on the gospel, and it is an affront to the preaching of the gospel. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. Thank you.